Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Let's take a look at the hand. Uh, well, actually you're looking at more, so you've got the, the hand is not this whole thing here, right? It, the, we have the wrist, the hand is in the middle, and then we have our digits or our fingers. But let's start by looking at the carpal bones. There are eight, these are the bones of the wrist. Um, they are called the, I'll try to go sh slow here, the scaphoid, which means boat-shaped, lunate, which means moon-shaped, triquetrum, which means three-cornered, pisiform, which is shaped like a P, trapezium, which means table, trapezoid, resembles a table, capitate, which is head-shaped, and hamate, which is, means hooked bone. So scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Now how I remember them in that order is Sam likes to push the toy car hard. So that's going to be the proximal row, then the distal row, if, if that's how you want to remember it. But there is another mnemonic device that takes a U-turn here in the middle, but it's called so long to pinky here comes the thumb so I kind of like that one as well so so long to pinky is scaphoid lunate triquetrum and pisiform so long to pinky here comes the thumb then goes backwards hamate capitate trapezoid and trapezium so that's still you've got to memorize these but here's the here's the tricks that I remember number one in the first row pisiform shaped like a P so look at that little that P-shaped pisiform like the P you eat, not the letter. So pisiform. Then remember trapezium thumb. Trapezium thumb. So I remember where the trapezium is. Then remember the hamate has a hook on it. So there's eight of them. If you remember where the pisiform is because of the P shape, the hamate because of the hook, and the trapezium is the one attached to the thumb, there's three of them. And then hopefully you can use one of those mnemonic devices to fill in the blanks. So those are your eight carpal bones. Like actually the reason I'm a teacher is because uh, my scaphoid bone broke when I was practicing and I developed avascular necrosis. So the blood supply in it, in it died. So it never healed. So I have chunks of dead bone floating in my wrist, which is what disabled me and led me to teaching. And uh, you know, I, I wouldn't change it for the world, but uh, so those are the carpal bones. Then we have the metacarpal bones here in your hand. There's five of them. They're lit, numbered one through five from the thumb down to the pinky. And then you have your phalanges. There are 14 phalanges per hand. So you've got uh, your thumb or your pollex only has two, a proximal and a distal. All the rest of the fingers have three, a proximal, middle, and distal. So that is your eight carpal bones. You have a total of 10 metacarpals between the two hands. And then 28 phalanges would be the fingers in the digits for your hand. All right, so that is the hand, especially your carpal bones. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.